Hi, I'm Nelson Davis. Question for you. Are you a dreamer? I especially mean daydreaming. You know those times when you close your eyes and you can sit and see images of the business you'd like to succeed in. If you are, you're in the company of some of the world's most accomplished people. People such as Albert Einstein, Bob Dylan, they both talked about their best ideas coming from dreaming. Those businesses we read about and admire most often began as an idea wrapped in a dream. So today, I want to share my thoughts on nourishing your business dream, even before the business actually exists. When you have a hardcore desire and dream to launch your own business, it can be very lonely at times. That vision that is occupying some of the most valuable real estate in your head can be difficult to share with other people, no matter how close they are to you. I've heard so many stories about how a spouse or parent was positively hostile when they heard about the dream of their mate or offspring. There's nothing quite like having your idea trashed by somebody you care about deeply. So when that happens, you stop sharing your ideas with others, and that can be a very lonely feeling. So my first suggestion is that you share the dream business idea very selectively. You should focus on talking to people who've already done what you want to do. Don't ask your cousin who works on an assembly line to give you advice on the craft shop idea that you have. I think you may be pleasantly surprised, however, at how other successful business owners will set aside some valuable time to talk to you about how to move your idea forward. What you have to do is pretty simple. Ask. Husbands and wives can have a built-in bias against your idea for a couple of plausible reasons. They may see it as growing to dominate your time and making you less available to them. Or they see the idea becoming a big black hole in your bank account. Whenever I'm at an event with other business owners, I find that we can talk kind of a, a shorthand. We easily understand each other's problems. So I encourage you to get out to workshops or networking events often. Today, for instance, I just set up a lunch meeting with a a person who sat next to me at an event that was put on by the Small Business Administration. Another helpful thing to do is find or even create a regular mastermind gathering. In a mastermind, each person gets to talk about their number one business problem or challenge, and then they harvest feedback and suggestions from the other participants. You know, it's sort of like having a group of knowledgeable and friendly consultants who help each other out. Today's technology can be an amazing help to you in building out your business idea. You can run searches for as long as you can stay awake and move your fingers on the keyboard. You'll find names, statistics, successes, and failures. Using a service such as Skype, well, you can have video meetings with other business owners anywhere in the world. If you want to test your idea or run a survey about it, you can do those things from the comfort of your own lazy boy chair right there at home. Doing good research will help you strengthen a good idea, or it'll help you quickly trash a poorly developed one. I'm always excited about what can be done conveniently and at very little cost these days with some tech help. Let me ask, how do you start and end your day? Those are both times when you can give full attention to your dream business idea. If you have a vision board or a written goal sheet, take at least 15 minutes to look at it. In the morning, that helps you set your action plan for the day. And at night, you plant those dreams into your subconscious mind, which has great, great power. Back in the early 1980s, I met movie director James Cameron when he was dreaming up the script for Terminator. Obviously, he kept on believing in the power of his dreams because he went on to dream up Avatar, one of the most successful films in history. It is worth your while to schedule time to nourish your dreams with laser-focused attention and deep belief. Starting and ending the day living in your dream can be such fun and, I think, effective. So if you have a business dream, I advise you to believe in it, nourish it, and the possibilities of living it get a whole lot better. I'm Nelson Davis, and I want to help you succeed and thrive in the entrepreneurial world. Mm -hmm.